hey guys welcome to colors in motion and if you are new here to subscribe my channel and don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like this video let me know what and how you are thinking about my tutorial and videos on the comment section below so today we'll be talking about advanced lightroom editing in lightroom so without further ado let's get started Alright, so first thing first, I'm just going to my thing. Alright, so I'm I'm going to my library and I have this images right here. So what I'll do, I'll just quickly go on my uh, what I say, uh, go on my card reader or memory card location and just click, hold and drag, drop here in. Lightroom and we'll get this dialog box as you know and you can import this right okay so you have this two image but I'm not going to use that image because that is not looking good mm, I thought I thought I will like I thought that is some different image but whatever so what we can do right like okay we can select this image go to develop area and i've already done some adjustment with the image so what i'll do i'll just go and hit reset to reset everything all right do i have anything nothing there nothing nothing so all right so let's jump into the tutorial and as you can see we have some highlighted area and we have this highlight picking on that is why it is showing that there is some highlights so first thing first go to basics drop the exposure till we remove that highlighted part right so okay So, on the look at this, if we are dropping the exposure, we are like we are having some issue with our blacks. So, what we can do here, we can reset our exposure, but we can lower our highlights. So, I'll just grab my slider and we'll do all this. But during the highlights, uh, remove this glow right over there. So, redo that or reset the highlights. Or double click to reset again and press like shift and then if you double click on the on any slider i'm double clicking on the white slider so what it will do it will automatically set your white channel or white value according to your image so as you can see here it shifted the white value to minus 87 uh, in this position and the highlights is gone and same for the blacks we will just hold shift and double click on blacks and it made this minus for just to give some uh, black depth on this part so yes that is it basically with our image and for temperature i will just make it a more warm and we will push some of the to fill in all right so that is basically it with our um, basic settings and we can always just decrease the clarity of it to give it a paint or dreamy kind of effect and I'll just boost this vibrance and drop the saturation uh, something like that all right so as you can see I am lacking of light on this part so what I'll do I will just quickly grab my gradient filter and you can press M to select gradient filter and you'll have a bunch of options right here so what basically gradient filter do is if you shift and 
click like this it will make this three line I mean, it will draw this three line and and whatever you will do here will affect from this to this position and I have dragged this in uh, low to up direction like bottom to top direction so whatever I will do here would be more or most powerful in this section and a bit less powerful in this section and least powerful at this section or least uh, impactful on this section so let's what I'll do I'll just I will just increase my exposure just to like um, remove this too much black part or just to compensate this part and I'll drop the contrast of it and we'll make it a little blue clarity yes we can crank this up and as you can see again if we crank the clarity up we are having this blacks so again shift and double click on the blacks although it's not working here so just increase the black value and you have it to go sharpness no noise yes i want to use some noise and for color and if you like yes in this section you can pick colors like this this is the color area you can see and um, going up or down will make a color saturate or desaturate like if we click on this part this is at highest saturation you can see s for saturation and six percent and if we like drop this it will gradually drop so i want my orange uh, reddish orange at something like this 63 percent this is cool to me and you can again press gradient this um icon to return on your main panel and you can add multiple gradients like i am going to drag and drop this from top to bottom so everything whatever i do here will be most prominent or most powerful in this section a bit low or light on this section and least at this section so what i do is uh, stop the exposure down a bit not too much just a bit yeah. and you can play with your <laughs> temperature to look crazy or to create crazy things so yes that is looking good there nice and for tone curve i always go to tone curve and basically we are done with our wait <laughs> basically uh, before tone curve we are done with our graduated filter and we can now add um, i mean we can use radial filter like you can use shift plus m for radial filter and in radial filter what you have you have to like, draw this you can draw a circle anywhere in your image and you have this expansion handles to expand your um, selection okay so okay yep that is cool and check out this section feather and invert so let me just load the feather and i'll show you one thing so if i do any changes here it will affect inside this particular what i said particular area and i've uh, i've like cranked up our exposure quite a bit and if i press done you can see it, it is looking like this but i don't want this i want to this i want this line to be smooth so what i do 
go back and select your uh, radial filter and if you come I mean if you select this you will see this dot or circle of this icon so just select this and then click here to select that selection once more and go down and increase the feathering so what it does it basically blurred out those hard edges and make it a soft um, what is a soft masking or soft feathering and if you press invert mask it will basically start affecting this areas the areas outside this uh, selection or this radial mask so i want to select this invertly and we will drop the exposure to make a vignette Yeah, that is it basically with the vignette you can always decide with it a bit so so this is with this this uh, two tools or two filters and this is basically crop overlay you can press r and you can choose any kind of spec ratio from this i'm choosing the to 7 double click and it will crop your image according to your choice so now uh, let me just uh, reposition it i don't want this leg to be in my image it's uh, something right there yes this is good so if we like do uh, after and before So that is the before and that is after you can change the you can see the change of colors right you can see the change of these details and everything so this is after and before and next what i'll do i'll go to tone color and i always love to crush my blacks so i'll do that I always crush my blacks it is looking too much yellow so i'll just decrease the value and will balance the temperature just a bit so that it look good <laughs> and you can select this can select this uh, single channel RGB red green two channels and you can make tweaks that is good uh, for split toning what I'll do for highlights I'll choose some obviously oranges or yellows faded orange color 27 Maybe. and for shadows I'll choose blue I always use this uh, contrast colors for my split toning and to me it is looking too much yellow so what I'll do I'll go to hue and I will make a slight adjustment to make it a bit reddish so that my image stand out from uh, from others image and will make I mean tweak some of this luminance value do something like this not too much saturation drop it a bit yes that is looking cool for detail I will sharpen this up that a lot and I've already covered these things how to do sharpening and everything in my previous video you can go and check that out I will link that video on the on this position maybe 
or maybe on the end screen and so yes that is basically it I will talk about later uh, regarding this adjustment brush on my um, other Lightroom video but for now yes it, that is this is everything for today and I hope you like this video so if you like this video do give it a thumbs up let me know what and how you are thinking about my tutorials and videos on the comment section below and yes till next time peace out